quick grocery, I don't even wanna call it a haul, grocery pickup. It's so small. Just a Walmart pickup. I had a 10 off 50 code that I was gonna use and I did and then they were out of a lot of the things that I ordered. So this is what I end up with. I gotta check my email to see how much this costs. I'll put it on the screen for you. Two gallons of Miak, a bunch of bananas, some more sandwich baggies. This was totally a mistake. I like the 200 bag box because I keep my bags here and the 300 is too tall. Like this one fits. Ugh. Oh, first world problems. Oh, it scrapes, I don't know. It's five pound thing of potatoes before I had realized I had potatoes. <laughs> In my fridge, they were buried under like onions and celery, but that's okay, we'll just make french fries. I got one bag of sweet potatoes. This is for meal prepping for me. A bunch of tomatoes to go on my salad, and these are like the saddest looking tomatoes ever. Can Andrew help me open that? Look at the color of that. So that one's not horrible. I mean, they're pretty horrible. The camera doesn't really pick up as, as bad as they are. What color are these, Andrew? Are these red? Uh, not, not exactly. Not really. These are like yellow and slightly orange. They are like, they don't even look ripe at all. Man, after summer garden tomatoes, sort tomatoes are just sad. And I grabbed two five dozen eggs, so 10 dozen eggs here. I know you think this seems com completely ridiculous, but my family does eat a lot of eggs and the kids have been begging for deviled eggs. I'll probably do like two dozen eggs just for the deviled eggs, so. You know that's right. <laughs> you know that's right. All I got, I had ordered all of these bagged salads, like this kale coleslaw. I was so excited to make my own like kale salads. Nope, totally out of stock, so that's fantastic. This is part one of the mid-December grocery haul. I will show you part two right now. This will be Smith's. Welcome to part two of the grocery haul. This will all be from Smith's, except for only like two things from the discount store. I spent $74 on everything you will see here. A lot of this is gonna go in the freezer and we'll use it later, and a lot of it we won't. We will use it now. This will help feed us for the next two weeks up until like Christmas, basically. You will notice as I go through this haul that every single thing I bought was on clearance. It has a manager's clearance sticker on it. Every single thing on here except for one thing, this. As you can see, it was $1.29 a pound for this pork loin. Amazing price. That was the only thing that was not on clearance. Let's start over here in the meat section. These Johnsonville sausages were $1.59 each, but they were part of the buy four, get four deal going on right now. And that sale does work on clearance items. So I paid 59 cents each for these four. Amazing. I saw this salami for 79 cents. Tell me what you think of these. My favorite. <laughs> They go great on everything. They do, they go great on everything. They did only have four of these, but I made sure to pick up all four. It's an amazing price. These are typically $6 each, and we all love these. I was pretty excited to see these smoked sausages for right under $4. This is a hair over two and a half pounds. These will also go in the freezer. This will make a lot of dinners. There's so many things you can do with these. And then of course, the pork loin. I think that's all of the meat for today. So let's jump up here. I saw this in the clearance, just regular food aisle uh, for $1.49. I'm trying to find some things for Dave to take to work and keep there. He loves trail mix. And this one looks so interesting. Look, it's got cranberries and these huge granola chunks and almonds and pepitas and cashews, and there's chocolate chips in there too. I grabbed two of these for $1.49 each. Haley really wanted these jalapeno cheddar bagels, 50 cents. And these made my entire car smell like jalapenos. It was really funny. Look at the price difference on the original and the cell. We walked up to the bread clearance lady as she was putting things on the shelf, which is why we were able to pick these up. So the hot dog buns, the King's Hawaiian hot dog buns were a dollar. Original price, $3.59, what? So I grabbed two of those. I have some hot dogs in the fridge. This will make some easy lunches over the weekend. I'm supposed to bring rolls to my church's Christmas party. I was going to make them from scratch, but you know what? This is easier. There's 24 in each of these, and I paid $1.50. Original price, $5.49. 
That is quite the savings. Okay, still looking a little weak on the salad, but these two bags of Hearts of Romaine, E. coli free for $1.29. A couple of clearance bags of produce, some peppers, a cucumber, a couple more cucumbers, bag of shredded carrots, uh, this huge bag of peppers, jalapenos, and then whatever that pepper is. Is that an Anaheim poblano? It doesn't look, that's not dark enough for a poblano. I think that's an Anaheim pepper. And then uh, an orange and a green. I saw the broccoli pearls, not as good of a deal as I got last time, but still a good deal for one pound of the already chopped up. I'm planning on using this to make a broccoli cheddar soup, extremely similar to the cauliflower soup I just made that I made a video for. Link up here if you wanna go check that out. Truth time, I have never used red lentils before, ever. I don't even know what to make with them, but they're so pretty. They were $1.39, so I just, I'm gonna Google something and see what I can make with these. They're just so pretty. One head of cauliflower. All the produce in the bags are like 99 cents uh, for the whole bag. So 99 cents for that. Oh, and I forgot to mention these two Cobb salads were $1.50. Grabbed those for lunches for Dave and Haley. Six Greek yogurts. I don't think this is the best price I've ever seen, but it's okay. 59 cents a cup. This one is strawberry Greek yogurt. And actually, I like this one a lot. This vanilla bean. I'm not sure what to say about this other than sock it to me cinnamon pecan. How could I say no? Yeah, it was $1.50 for this huge cakey thingy. So we'll have this as an after school snack and then probably for dessert tonight after dinner and it'll be gone. One loaf of French bread for 50 cents. We'll do like French bread pizzas with that. Uh, some sweet potatoes, some more sweet potatoes, some yams. Uh, these are all gonna go into my meal prepping stuff. Two guys of cottage cheese, 89 cents each. This is the 2% large curd. Oh no, this is 4%. Oh, this is whole fat. These little biscuits were 39 cents. They're so cute. I just thought I would pick them up and we do them for breakfast tomorrow. These Mama Mary's were $1.59 for three pizza crusts and there were two of them, but there was a coupon on here. You can't see it anymore, but there's like this sticky thing for a dollar off two. What can I say except for simply delicious? Mmm. This was kind of our big splurge for the day. This was $4.89 for the Screamin' Sicilian. I've actually never had this pizza. I've heard good things about it. This is me and Haley's lunch today. It is in the oven right now. <laughs> See, it's empty. I think the best thing about being a runner is you can totally eat pizza for lunch. No guilt. Last couple of items. So, my Smith has, you know, the deli area where they have like pre-made things and they were all 99 cents today. Their sell-by date is tomorrow, and so I just grabbed all the ones that were really cheap that I thought we might eat. There was one I left because it looked weird. So I believe, I believe that is the entire Smith's haul. I don't think I missed anything. I was doing a quick, quick check. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? Did I talk about the watermelon, personal watermelon? I wanna make sure I didn't forget that because I'm very excited about this. Discount store, I picked up a Molly McButter, butter flavor sprinkles for $1.03. This is gonna go on our homemade popcorn and also on those. We have a ketchup thing in our fridge, but it's really big and annoying. This one is smaller and takes up less room, so I'm gonna replace it with this one. I think this was like $1.50. Item from the discount store, I can't really talk about it too much because it has to do with Christmas, but this was $3. Okay, that's all I can say. I completely forgot to mention the tortillas because I'm a scatterbrain. So this tortilla land, these are raw uncooked corn tortillas. I usually get the raw uncooked flour tortillas, but after Dave and I went to Mexico, we're really digging the corn tortillas. So I wanna try these out and see if they're good. And at $1.29, that's a really great price. These are typically closer to $3. So very excited to try these out. I'll let you know how they are. That's the entire haul. What do you think? How did I do? I'm pretty excited about most of these deals. All good things, all good things. Between the Walmart pickup and this right here, I am just a hair over $100 for the last part of December. I have a weird shadow on my face, Haley. Is it the lighting? There. Okay, it's the lighting, I had a weird shadow, okay. I'm not really including like Christmas dinner vacation as, as part of my grocery stuff because I've been planning on taking a trip for Christmas 
uh, for the last several months. I have a separate budget for that trip, which will include Christmas dinner. This will get us through the rest of December, not including Christmas dinner and like, you know, Christmas candy things. So to check out my meal plan for the next couple of weeks using the items you see behind me and some things I already have in the house, check below, I'll drop it down there. Hope you guys enjoyed. I have some really interesting goals set up for 2019 when it comes to groceries and spending. I can't wait to talk to you about it in a couple of weeks. I don't know when I'll talk about it, sometime soon. And I want you guys to keep me accountable, see if I can actually do it because it's gonna be a little restrictive, but not. Because if you shop smart, you don't have to spend that much. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, that's my haul for today. Thank you for joining me. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, if you learned anything. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you wanna see what I try and tackle for next year, hit that button and the bell down below so you don't miss anything later. I will see you in the next video.